Six candidates who were interviewed for faculty positions in a reputed management institute are ranked according to their performances in six parameters. Educational qualification, analytical ability, logical ability, communication skills, teaching skills and creativity. Alright, so there are six parameters on which six candidates are ranked. Okay, now the next point says no two candidates got the same rank in any single parameter and the rank of a candidate in no two parameters are the same. So this in my view is a very important point, right? It says no two candidates got the same rank. See, no two candidates got the same rank in any single parameter. <coughs> and the rank of a candidate in no two parameters are the same. Okay, so we'll keep that in mind, right? The next it says the six candidates considered for selection were Vishal, Payal, Rabi, Mohit, Akash and Sindhu and the rank obtained by them in some of the parameters are given below. So you can see the table here. Right, so this table talks about the ranks of these six persons Vishal, Payal, Rabi, Mohit, Akash, and Sindhu in these six parameters E, A, L, V, T, C. Some of the ranks have been given, the others are missing. Now, the key point that you have to you know note here is that no two candidates got the same rank in any single parameters. No two candidates have got the same rank in any single parameter. Like, for example, if you look at the parameter of education qualification, no two candidates will get the same rank. Like, Vishal has already got rank 3, right? No other candidate can get rank 3. Mohit has got rank 1, no other candidate can get rank 1. So, all the ranks are going to be unique. So, obviously, from 1 to 6, the ranks have to be filled here. And also, the rank of a candidate in no two parameters are the same. So, row wise, the ranks are going to be unique. Even column wise, the ranks are going to be unique. Because it says the rank of a candidate in no two parameters are the same. So, for example, if you look at Vishal, already four ranks are given for Vishal. 3, 2, 1 and 6 here. Now, in the other two cells, we cannot have any of these four ranks. 3, 2, 1 or 6. Why? No two parameters will have the same rank for a given candidate. Right? So, if he has already got 3 in E, he cannot get 3 in V or C. If he has got 2 here, he cannot get 2 here in these two positions. If he has got rank 1 in L, he cannot get rank 1 in V and C. If he has got rank 6 in T, he cannot get rank 6 in V and C. You getting it? So the point here is that in terms of the values that are filled in the row, in each row, and the values that are filled in each column have to be unique. Are you getting it? Now, now, if you try to connect, it is nothing but a 6 by 6 Sudoku. Generally, Sudoku is, you know that Sudoku, right? A Japanese puzzle. It is actually a 9 by 9 grid but here we have got a 6 by 6 grid there we have to fill values from 1 to 9 here we have to fill values from 1 to 6 of course there are many other conditions are applicable like in a 3 by 3 grid 1 to 9 has to come in each row 1 to 9 has to come in each column 1 to 9 has to come here that 3 by 3 grid is not applicable the only two things that you have to keep in mind is there is no uh, common value in each row or in a given column in any given row or any given column there is no there are no repetitions basically all right now the moment you have understood that I think you can fill the table easily, right? And I'm sure those who all are used to, you know, working on Sudoku, right, will find it really very, very simple, right? That is the reason I think if, if you have gone through our video on uh, reasoning ability, there's this topic called as complex assignments. In the introduction part, I had mentioned that, you know, complex assignments is also like Sudoku. There, instead of filling numbers, we have to fill different uh, colors or different companies or different cars or different sports, etc. Right? But that, that actually works like Sudoku. So there I had told you that you have to, you know, practice on Sudoku as well. All right. And that's like also a exercise for your brain, right? It is food for your brain. So you should actually do these kind of things on a daily basis, these kind of puzzles so that, you know, you actually sharpen your axe. That's, that's the key. I mean, not about this question. This may not come, this kind of question may not come in your exam, but you should be used to, uh, you know, doing Sudokus at least. So I think the first step is to complete the table, right? So let's quickly do that. Of course, there is one more point mentioned here. After the names, it says a candidate get a candidate gets 12 points for each parameter in which he or she gets the first rank. So for first rank, he will get 12 points. 8 points for second rank, right? 8 points for rank 2. 5 points for rank 3. 3 points for rank 4. 2 points for rank 5. And 1 point for rank 6. So there are ranks which have to be filled here. But again, with each rank, there is a number of points uh, that are... Uh, attached right like for example for rank 1 you will get 12 points for rank 2 you get 8 points for rank 3 you get 5 points so maybe questions will have something related to these points as well right rank 4 will attract 3 points 5 will get you 2 points and rank 6 will get you 1 point so you can understand that as your rank decreases your number of points increases I mean rank decreases meaning not numerically but 
you know what is the highest rank rank 1 is the highest rank what is the lowest rank rank 6 is the lowest rank so for lowest rank least number of points for highest rank maximum points 12 points so I think the first thing is to understand the question that's what we have done so far right we have understood what it is all about now let us quickly fill the gaps here right fill the table so let's start playing the sudoku 6 by 6 sudoku what do you do so you always try to start with a row or column which has got maximum values filled in it already like if you observe here for logical ability all the ranks are already filled 1 2 3 4 5 6 so there is nothing left out here but then try and find out other rows and columns where you know most of the values are already filled like for example if you see the column for Vishal four of the values are already filled only two are missing right we have got one two three and six so only two are missing and you know that any column can have values from one to six so out of one two three four five six already one two three and six are available so what all has to come four and five have to come yes or no four and five have to come in these two cells but in which order is not very clear to us you're able to follow this can have 4 or 5, this can also have 4 or 5. Now, how do you decide which cell will take what value? Understand, if you take 4 in this cell, what do you find? The same column, the same row has got 2, 4. Here also we have got a 4. You're getting it? We've already got a 4 here, which means 4 cannot come. Why? It was very clearly given that no two candidates will get the same rank for a given parameter. So, for communication skills, two candidates cannot get the rank 4. Are you able to follow? So, you should make up your mind that 4 cannot come in that cell. Now, if 4 cannot come, what is the only choice? 5. 5 comes here. So, then 4 will come here. Are you able to follow? 4 and 5 were left. We know that 4 cannot come here because 4 is already available in this row. So, 5 has to come. And if 5 comes there, 4 has to come here. Are you able to follow? Now, look at this row for creativity. Creativity has already got 4 values. 1, 2, 3, 4. What is left out? 5 and 6. You already see a 5 here. In this column, you see 5. So, can 5 come here? No. Right? So, if... If 5 cannot come, 6 has to come. If 6 comes here, then 5 would come here. Are you able to follow? Look at this row. Sindhu's column. Sorry, the column for Sindhu. Right? Not the row. Column for Sindhu. We have got only 3 values here. 2, 4 and 6. What are the values that are missing? 1, 3 and 5. Now look at this cell. Can 1 and 3 come here? 1 and 3 cannot come here. Because 1 and 3 are already available in this row. So 1, 3 cannot come. So 5 has to come. The only choice is 5. Now, what all are left out? 1 and 3. Can 3 come here? No, because we already have a 3 here. So, 3 cannot come here. So, it has to be 1. Now, if this is 1, then this has to be 3. Similarly, try to fill the gaps in the other uh, cells as well. Like, look at the row for Akash. 3, 5 and 6 are filled. So, what is left out? 1, 2 and 4. 3, 5, 6 are filled. 1, 2 and 4 are left out. Now, if you see, if you start with this cell, you know that 1 cannot come. But 2 and 4 can come. So, that doesn't help us. Similarly, if you look at this cell, you know that 4 cannot come, but 1 and 2 can come here. 4 cannot come because 4 is already available for Rabi, but 1 and 2 can come. So, it is not helping us really. But when you look at this cell, you already know that 2 and 4 cannot come. You getting it? Out of the 3 cells, it is also important that which cell do you choose first. If you look at this cell, you will get confused. If you look at this cell, again you will get confused. This will give us a clear information. Because 2 and 4 are already placed in that row, so 2 and 4 cannot come here. So, what has to come? 1 has to come. So, out of 1, 2, 4, 1 is fixed. What is left out? 2 and 4 are left out. Now, can 4 come here? 4 cannot come here because 4 is already available. So, it has to be 2. Then this has to be 4. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Are you getting it? Then similarly move to the other columns there, right? Other columns and rows, right? Like for example, look at this column for coming. You can, you can go anywhere. I mean, it's not a rule that first you have to look for this cell, then this column and all that. You can start from wherever you want. Now, I like to go for communication skills because all the 4 values are filled, right? 2, 3, 4, 5 are filled. What is left out? 1 and 6 are left out. 1 is already available, so 1 cannot come here. 6 has to come and 1 would come here. Right? Then look for analytical ability. 1, 2 and 4 are done. What is left out? Uh, 3, 5 and 6. 3, 5 and 6. So, if you look at this cell, 3 and 6 cannot come. Right? 3 and 6 cannot come. So, this has to be 5. Now, what is left out? 3 and 6. Are you able to follow? 3, 5, 6 were left out. We know that 3 and 6 cannot come in this cell. Because they are already available here. So, 5 will come here. Now, the other two values are 3 and 6. 3 cannot come here because 3 is already available. So, this will be 6. And this is going to be 3. Now, look at the first row. Educational qualification. 1, 3, 4, 5. 1, 3, 4, 5 already there. Uh, 2 and 6 have to come. Right? 2 and 6 have to come. So, 2 comes here and 6 comes here. And then only these values are left out. Which we can very easily find out because 5 of the values are already filled. So, 1, 2, 3, 5, 6 are filled. So, this has to be 4. Then 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 are filled. This has to be 5. Then 1, 3, 4, 5, 6 are filled. This has to be 2. Done. We are done with the table.
you getting it simple 6 by 6 sudoku now if you observe no column or no row will have the same two values you can you can quickly check if you want right 1 2 3 4 5 6 unique values right 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 if you find that something is repeating then you have gone wrong you'll have to start from the scratch right 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 again 1 2 3 4 5 6 so everything is uh, kind of unique right if you spot that a particular row or a column has got same two values or you know if uh, yeah if you find that then you have gone wrong in completing that sudoku once you are done with this i think half of the problem is solved also you need to remember that each uh, <coughs> each rank has got some points right like for example third third rank will get you five points right so this will get you five points i can write that in the brackets right second rank will get you eight points first rank will get you 12 points fifth rank fifth rank will get you how many points two points right sixth rank will get you only one point fourth rank will get you how many points fourth rank gets you three points so ranks are attached with points which also can be filled if you want because of course in the questions these points would be needed all right so i think that's that's the solution i mean once you have done this you know the ranks of each person in each of the parameters and you also know how many points they have scored and now only look at, look at the questions pick up the right values and answer okay so let us start working on the questions now let me just clear this up so these are the five questions let us look at these questions one by one so here's the first one see we have already got the values filled like the way we have done earlier right so these ranks are already filled here so that i don't have to write it again just look at the question the question here says which of the following candidates obtained first rank in teaching skills this is the first question which of the following candidates obtained first rank in teaching skills now these are ranks right already ranks in teaching skills which candidate got the first rank who got the first rank here sindhu so sindhu is the answer option c is the answer that's how simple it is right so once you have done the table the first question would take zero seconds in my view teaching skills first rank is sindhu you can ask you who has got third rank in analytical ability third rank in analytical ability Payal right or uh, you know rabi's rabi has got first rank in which parameter rabi has got first rank in which parameter creativity so these type of questions can be asked which are like very easy to answer right let's look at the next question second question now here's the second one so what does it say uh, in if only parameters a c v and t are considered then which candidate got the third highest total score right if only parameters a c v and t are considered so parameters a c v and t are considered so we should ignore the parameters e and l we should ignore their educational qualification and logical ability right so if these two parameters are ignored then which candidate got the third highest total score remember he's talking about total score which candidate has got the third highest total score so basically you should forget about all these ranks here because these two parameters are not being considered right forget about these ranks okay now he's asking us to find out which candidate has got the third highest total score See, we already know the ranks of these candidates, right? We have already filled those values. Now, we have to replace the ranks with points. Remember, the points were given in the first, uh, I mean, directions, right? First rank will get you 12 points. You have to remember that or maybe you go back and check it once. Second rank gets you 8 points. Third rank, I guess, gets you 5 points. Fourth rank will get you 3 points. Third rank will get you 2 points. Sorry. Fifth rank will get you 2 points and sixth rank will get you 1 point. Yes or no? Let me just quickly check the numbers once. I mean, of course, in the exam, the data will be available throughout. Here, because of space restri restrictions, we had to remove it. Let me just see the data. Uh, 12 points for first rank, 8 points for second rank, 5. So 12, sorry, 12, 8, 5, 3, 2, 1. Yeah. 12, 8, 5, 3, 2, 1. Right. So what I'll do is quickly fill the uh, points as well, right? So first rank will get you 12 points, second rank will get you 8 points and so on. So 8 points, fifth rank will get you 2 points. And ideally you should actually fill for all the ranks and keep it with you because remaining questions will also need these points. Okay, sixth rank is 1 point, fourth rank is 3 points, fifth rank here is 2 points, first rank 12 points, third rank will get you 5 points, 1 point, 8 points, this is 12 points, 5 points, 8 points. Then here we'll get two points. Fourth rank will get you three points. Twelve, three, one. Second rank gets you how many points? Eight points. Third rank gets you five points. Here five points. Sixth rank is for one point. Fifth rank is for 
through points, 12 points, and fourth rank will get you how many points? Three points. Right? I hope I have chosen the right values here. That's it. So he's asking us to find out if only parameters A, C, V, T. So we have not done it for A and uh, uh, I mean we have not done it for E and uh, L. But if only parameters A, C, V, T are considered, which candidate got the third highest total score? Now find out the total score of these candidates. Right? Total score for only these four parameters. So what is the total for Vishal? 8 plus 2, 10 plus 1, 11 plus 3, 14. So Vishal has got 14 points. Payal, 5 and 12, 17 plus 3, 20 plus 2, 22. Rabi has got 1 plus 3, 4 plus 2, 6 plus 12, 18. Mohit has got 2 plus 1, 3 plus 8 is 11 plus 5 is 16. Akash has got 12 plus 8, 20, 25 and 26. And Sindhu has scored 3, 8, 20 and 28. Alright. So, who has got the third highest total? Remember, third highest total. So, what is the highest total? Sindhu, 28. Second highest, Akash, 26. Third highest here is Pile. She has got 22, right? Third highest total. So, pile would be the answer. Right? Be careful. Third highest. Don't mark the highest total as the answer in a hurry. Third highest, second highest, fourth highest. Anything can be asked. So, highest is Sindhu. Second highest is Akash. Third highest is pile. Getting it? So, once you are done with filling up the points for this question, you can use the same uh, data for the other questions as well. Alright? Of course, you will have to fill for the remaining two parameters as well. And that's how you get the answers. Let's look at the next one. So I'll go to the next question now, question number three. Now what I've done is the points are already filled here, right? So we can, of course, in the exam, it won't be already filled for you. You will have your date, own data. You should quickly fill for educational qualification and logical ability. We have not done it for first and third parameters, right? So quickly fill for that and then proceed to the questions. Now look at this question. If only parameters E, A, L, T are considered, E, A, L and T are considered. So forget about communication skills and creativity. So, only E, A, L, T are considered. Which candidate got the highest total score? So, here directly is asking about highest total score. So, find out the total scores and then take the highest one. So, what's the total of Vishal? 5 and 8, 13 and 12, 20. Sorry. Okay, we have to be better so that we don't go wrong, right? Total for Vishal. 5 plus 8, 13 plus 12, 25 plus 1, 26. So, 26 is the total of Vishal. 1 plus 5, 6 plus 8, 14 plus 3, 17 for Payal, 8 plus 1, 9 plus 5, 14 plus 2, 16 for Rabi, 12 plus 2, 14 plus 3, 17 plus 8, 25 for Mohit, 3 plus 12, 15 plus 2, 17 plus 5, 22 for Akash, and 5, 6, 18 for Sindhu. So who has got the highest total score? Who has got the highest total score here? Mohit, right? Sorry, Vishal. Vishal has got 26 points. So, Vishal should be the answer. Option C would be the answer. Next question. Fourth question. If only parameters C, L and T are considered. C, L and T. So, you have to forget about communication skills, analytical ability and education qualification. So, only these three parameters are considered. Then the difference between the scores of candidates getting the highest score and least score is. Then the difference between the scores of the candidates getting highest score and least score is. So I think, see, I will actually find out the total scores for these candidates again in these three parameters. But there was an advantage with the previous question. See, in the previous question, anyway, we had considered uh, logical ability, teaching skills, creativity, and educational qualification, right? We had skipped only analytical ability and communication skills. So what you could do is instead of finding out the totals again from the previous questions total, if you find out the, to uh, if you subtract the total of educational qualification, you will get the new totals. Are you able to follow? In every question, what do you see? He's choosing a set of parameters. This time he's chosen CLT. Right? Let me just go to the previous question and see what was asked. In the previous question, he has asked us to choose EALT. Okay, EALT. EALT. So we had to remove E and A and A. Anyway, so just keep in mind that, like, for example, let's say in the previous question, if he had asked us to go for ACLT. And this question, if he's asking us for CLT, what you do is from the previous totals itself, subtract the total of, I mean, subtract the value of A. So you'll get anyway the values of CLT, right? But anyway, in this case, I think we'll have to do it again quickly. So do that, CLT. Simple numbers, right? Should not take much time to add. So total of CLT for all these guys, right? C, L, and D. So uh, 12 plus 1, 13 plus 6, uh, 30 plus 3, 16. Then... 11, 15, 19, right? Then this is 16. Here we have got 6 plus 2, 8. Then here we have 13 and 8, 
21 right so it's asking us to find out the difference between the scores of the candidates getting highest score and least score so difference between highest score and least score what is the highest score 21 is the highest score what is the least score 8 is the least score what is the difference between 21 and 8 13 right so option c would be the answer again right option c would be the answer oh i think for second candidate 8 plus 3 11 plus 2 is 13 it's not 15 yeah so you have to be careful while doing these totals otherwise you may go wrong of course i was lucky that pile's score was neither highest nor lowest otherwise i could have got a wrong answer get it yeah 8 plus 3 11 plus 2 it should be 13 anyway the answer is 13 here because 21 minus 8 the difference of highest and the lowest is 13 and the next question which in my view is the last one. Let's quickly solve this. If only parameters E, A, V are considered and only the candidates getting the top four scores are selected, then which of the candidates are not selected? So only parameters E, A, V, E, A and V. So you have to skip logical ability, teaching skills and creativity. Right? So forget about these. And only the top four candidates are selected. Top four scores. Only candidates who have got the top four scores are selected. Then which of the candidates are not selected? So basically you have to find out the two lowest scores. Who have got the two lowest scores? Yes or no? E, A, V, right? E, A and V. So 5 and 8, 13 plus 2, 15. 6 plus 12, 18. 9 and 3, 12. 14 and 1, 15. 3 plus 12, 15 and 8 is 23. And 2 plus 3, 5 plus 5 is 10. Right? 13 plus 2, 15. 6 and 12, 18. 9 and 3 is 12. 14, 15. 15 and 823 and 10 yeah so which of the two candidates are not selected right we are taking up the top four scores so find out the top four scores 23 gets eliminated eliminated meaning he will be selected right 23 18 and 15 and 15 right the top four scores these are the top four scores so the bottom two are rabi and sindhu rabi and sindhu option b would be the answer